Hey guys, Jam here, and welcome back to another video. And in this one, as voted by you guys, as you'll see on the screen right now, we're going to be doing a wolf spear. Now, this was actually a bit of a difficult one for me because I've made so many space wolf videos at this point. I've almost done like everything you can possibly do to a space wolf on my YouTube channel. So I thought, how do I make these guys look different? Well, first of all, in the name, Wolf Spear, they obviously, you know, the whole spear thing. And if you look at the official artwork that GW has released for them, I think, I think there is only like one. I'll get it up on the screen now. This dude is obviously, while well, holding a spear, and he has a slight different aesthetic to normal Space Wolves. If you look around the belt area and stuff, I almost thought he looks like a combination of white scars and Space Wolves. And once again, going back to the whole belt thing, I looked at that and I was th thought to myself... That looks exactly like what Kosaru Khan has, the Primaris White Scar dude. So on top of that, I do actually have a Kosaru Khan handy because I ended up getting like two for Christmas by accident. Secondly, I was planning on using him to do a Space Wolves Judiciar, however you pronounce that. Because, you know, he's got the sword, he's got the severed heads. I thought it would fit perfectly. And then in the comments of that whole poll I did, someone did say, can you do a Wolf Spear Judiciar? And of course, there were comments for wolf spears with actual spears. But yeah, long story short, well, not short at all because I've been rambling for ages now, I decided to use the Crossaro Khan model, give him a spear instead of a giant sword. And yeah, we'll see where this takes us because I'm going to leave quite a few of the white scarry elements in there just because, like I said, he's not a real proper space wolf. It has to have a bit of a different vibe to it. So yeah, I'm going to try my best and let's get started. So, obviously, first things first, we had to find a spear to use. Now, I have a few from the Chaos Warriors and stuff like that from Age of Sigmar. I wasn't really too keen on them. And I was originally actually going to do this Primaris Lieutenant dude. You know, the one kind of like jumping off of some rubble. Because I wanted him to kind of look like he was jumping and about to throw a spear. But then, like I said, I chose Kosara Khan instead. But yeah, I wasn't too sure which spear to go with. But I ended up going with the kind of like more flat bladed one if that makes any sense because it looks like it could lop off heads a lot better than the spiky one and one thing you will have to do for using this model is filing off all the white scars iconography so obviously i carved the knee pad symbol thing down you know just using my hobby knife slightly cutting the bulk away and then using like the kind of reverse blade to slightly file it down and i left a little like more ultramarine -y, Roman symbol on there because like I said I want to give it a bit of a different vibe to a normal space wolf. After all these Primaris space wolfy dudes have probably been hanging out with ultramarines a lot more than they have with space wolves. Now the next thing I do is this is more of a personal taste thing. I already have a Crossaro Khan on that like stone with the embedded horse kind of thing and I didn't want that kind of vibe with my space wolfy dude so I cut off the peg that would normally fit into the scenic base and as you can see, I just added some rocks and pebbles and stuff like that around the foot instead. I know it looks a bit boring now, but obviously when I actually get to the base and build it out, it will look a lot better. But yeah, we got the model built up to the point where we can start attaching stuff to it now. Now, of course, the first thing you're going to have to do is sort out the, like, the main eye-catching thing of the model. Like the thing that dominates the model. And for me, that's going to be the spear. Now, I want to keep it in a similar pose to what... Kosaro Khan normally looks like. So I went through my like bits box and I found an arm that was kind of like outstretched and a bit downwards and stuff like that. And I got this from the Primaris Reavers, I believe. They got loads of different arms you can choose from depending on what angle you want the spear to go and stuff like that. So first thing I do is I just cut the blade off the dagger, cut the kind of like knuckle dustery part, try and keep it all intact so it still looks like a hand, not just all sliced up. I just gently use my hobby knife to try to get some more grooves in between the fingers and stuff like that. So we got some detail in there. Now, like I said before, I wasn't really feeling the spear. The one thing I did think was cutting these little spikes off the end might help it out a little bit. And to be honest, if I had the choice, I wouldn't use these spears. I'd probably find something different, but it's literally all I had at hand and I couldn't find anything else. But yeah, cut those spikes off and just clean around that. And then the next step, obviously, we have to cut the hand out of there. So I'm just going to use my hobby knife here, not my clippers, because I don't want to damage it too much. And yeah, just literally slice that fist out of there, and that's it. Then the next step is cutting the fist off the arm that we chose. Now this model is going to turn into a lot of different fiddly pieces, lots of different cutting to get everything to work the way we want. 
And in a minute I'm going to be drilling a hole in this fist and I would recommend probably doing the drilling before you actually cut the hand off because you know that would make life a lot easier. And like I said, I'm going to start drilling into all these bits so we can pin them because obviously it would be a super, super weak joint if we don't pin it. So I'm going to be drilling a hole into the top of the spear, the bottom half of the spear and right through the hand as well. Now I couldn't find my little hand drill thing and I think I might have to buy a new one. But yes, I had to do this all by hand, which is super awkward and annoying, especially with such small bits. But yeah, just make a little pilot hole, get a very, very small drill. Well, a drill bit, I should say. Something the same width of whatever you're going to use to pin. In my case, I just found a needle because I couldn't find any like paper clips or anything like that around the house. And yeah, you just keep on drilling until you get into the place you want. Like I said, I'm drilling right through the hand, as you'll see here. Then all I do is I put a tiny blob of super glue on the end of the pin, stick that into the top of the spear bit, then I just slide the hand through, and I use plastic glue at this point to try and help bond it all together. Maybe that plastic will melt inside that gap as well where I drilled a hole. Now, I would recommend maybe leaving this stuff to dry properly before you clip the other end of the pin off because that's things are going to start moving around and all that kind of junk. But I went ahead anyway, just used my clippers, get it down to size. And it went a bit longer than I probably needed because I thought if it's too long, I could just drill a little bit more into the spear shaft kind of thing anyway, which is exactly what I do until it fits nice and flush to the hand. Now, like I said, this is a very fiddly job because you're going to have to make sure that the hand and the two bits of spear kind of line up so they're not like off center and wonky. I didn't succeed 100%. Like, yeah, not a great job. And yeah, you definitely don't want to knock this giant spear with such a small, like, surface area for gluing. But I think at the end it will turn out alright. And like I said before, you're going to have to take all the white scars iconography off for this. As you can see, I have done the belt already. And you've got to do the kind of symbol on the back banner as well. Because I'm keeping the back banner because that's one of the cool parts. It's got the skulls and everything. So it has more of a chopping heads off kind of vibe to it. And one thing I did as well is I got the white scars iconography off of the shoulder pad as well. Because, I mean, I could have used a different shoulder pad and stuff like that. But the white scars one has a bit of the fur built into it. So I'd either have to destroy the white scar cape anyway, cutting the fur off or doing green stuff. And I mean, if you like do a lot of filing and drilling and cleaning like this, sometimes the plastic doesn't look that great. But I think once I've painted it, but most importantly, I'm going to be putting a transfer over the shoulder pad. Then you won't really see like the rough kind of plastic in that. So yeah, just get rid of all the icons and stuff. That's what I've been doing. Unless you want this guy to stay a white scar. And yeah, I do glue the shoulder pad in first. So that way I can kind of see where I might need to like slice the arm a little bit that I want to use, file it down to make sure it all fits into place. I don't want to glue the arm on first and realize the shoulder pad doesn't fit in. And another white scar icon you might have to get rid of is the one on the chest. Now normally I just use my hobby knife to kind of like slice it out, smooth it out and stuff like that. But I've got this new little engraving tool. And I just kind of wanted to play around with it, so I used that, but obviously you can just use your hobby knife because not everybody's going to have one of them. And to be honest, it's not really that useful anyway. I was just having a bit of fun. Now, it's going to look rough, but you'll see later, we're going to kind of copy the artwork that I showed before. We has kind of like these three spikes coming up from the chest around the neck area, so we'll cover it all up. All right, back to the spear. Now that the thing is dried a little bit, I do a little bit of a dry fit with the arm. I kind of realized that... It needs to be sliced a little bit at the top end because it's kind of pushing the arm out a bit. So yeah, just kind of flatten that out a little bit so it fits in there nicely. Glue the arm in and once again the great thing about plastic glue is if I glue the arm in, leave it for a couple seconds, then do the spear, it'll still be like kind of maneuverable enough for me to get it into the right position. And yeah, I was actually pretty surprised how perfect this arm actually mimics the original Kosoro Khan one. But as you'll see in a second when I glue the spear on, I actually originally wanted the spear to be like touching the ground and, or maybe pointing straight upwards. But I kind of forgot to move the hand further up, like the spear shaft. So we ended up with this kind of like pointing outwards, maybe challenging someone. I'm not really too sure, but it turns out all right. Now I do try and get the spear in a way where like the bottom of the spear is touching the cloak. Just so I can kind of glue it and give it that extra bit of strength. Like I said, I was a bit worried about the flimsy joints on this even though I've pinned it. Okay, so the main part of the model is pretty much done. Well, maybe the main part, I'm not too sure. 
I think this next part actually tells you what this model is. It tells you that it's the Judicia and that's the giant hourglass thing. Now I've got this pointy hand from the intercessor kit and all I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it off at the elbow area because obviously Kosoro Khan already has half an arm attached to his torso and when I get it to the size that I want and kind of clean it up and stuff like that then I also cut off the pointy finger hand as well because we're going to need a fist and the fist we're going to use is also from the Primaris intercessor kit I believe and yeah just slice that off and we're going to stick it onto the arm that we've got now obviously we have to prepare the hourglassy thing I don't actually know what it's called and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around the chains and stuff being really really careful I want to try and keep it intact as much as I can so it can just nice and easily slide onto the other fist now going back to the arm again because the way the kind of Kosoro Khan's arm is sculpted into his body I had to make some space now once again I would normally just use Mojave knife and cut away at the arm until it fits in but because I got that new handy dandy engraving grindy tool I just kind of use it to clear up some space around underneath the, like the pauldrony shoulder pad thing until the arm fit but once again you can just slice bits and stuff like that from the arm which I do end up doing a bit anyway as well and if you do have any gaps and like seam lines and stuff just put an extra bit of plastic glue in there to fill anything in and then later when it's all dried up and nice you can come back in with your hobby knife and kind of clean up any mess and file it away now that we've got the arm and the hand in the place that we want it's time to put that hourglass thing on there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that Indominus Crusade kind of symbol hanging off there I'm going to slice it off and later when everything's dried I'm going to put a wolf tail talisman on there just to give that extra bit of wolf spear flavor but yeah this actually fit pretty much perfectly to be honest the way I managed to cut it and stuff it just kind of slotted into the hand it looked supernatural not supernatural but very in place I guess not all spooky and ghost stuff and as always I'm doing these for videos so I'm normally like trying to do them slightly quicker but if I was you I'd recommend leaving the arm to dry 100% before doing this because then you can end up having like the hand moving and all that kind of nonsense okay so we pretty much got like the two main parts like I said before we've got the spear we've got the judicia hourglass you know what this model is now now it's time to accessorize like I said before in that beginning artwork picture he's got these kind of like wolf claw spikes coming up around his neck area so what I did was I got the frost claws from the wolfing kit and I cut three of them off. So obviously the two for like the two outside ones I kept on the same one just so they're kind of maybe same thickness and all that kind of stuff. I also cut them a bit shorter and I cut the bottom at a slight angle so it fits into the chest nicely. And then the longer thicker one I just put in the middle so it kind of has like that triangular pyramid kind of shape. And yeah you just stick them on they fit nicely on top of that little ropey part. And it turns out pretty well and as you can see there this model's really starting to come together now now the next quick kind of step here is Kosoro Khan has this pin on his chest where like the ropes and stuff meet up so all I do is I cut the strings off of his original pin and I replace the actual pin part with one of the ones from the Wolfen kit now I use those quite often because they're great for filling in little gaps and stuff like that and I just slide the little original ropey things underneath there so Still keeping the same vibe but we've got wolfy stuff instead of just kind of standard marine stuff. And yeah I should probably learn more words than just stuff. Yeah like I said before at this point we're just kind of jazzing the model up a bit. We've got the bulk of it done and I felt the spear was missing something. And to be honest I didn't do it but now that I'm like editing I kind of thought the thing that's missing from this model, well the spear anyway, is there no, there's no power modules or anything like that like you'd see on a power sword or a chain sword or something like that. But what I did do is I added this kind of like cable with the wolf tail attached to it as well. So maybe it gives it a bit more of an interesting flair. I don't know, maybe the cable is a power line, maybe it's just something cool. I don't know, but it, it definitely helps out. And like I said earlier in the video as well, I do add a wolf tail thing to the hourglass bit as stated. Now one of the last elements we have to add and one of the most important ones is the head. Now from the artwork the guy has kind of a usual space wolfy look to him but he's got like a it's a bit different. He's got the whole top knot and all that kind of stuff. Now there is a head in the space wolves like rare hunter pack that pretty much suits this perfectly but I've already used that head in my own army so I decided to kind of improvise. Now I've got this head here with the giant beard and I've got one of the old kind of Space Wolf Scout heads. It's got a giant top knot on it. I literally just cut that off and I'm going to glue it on top of this one. Now I wasn't too sure about this head to be honest because 
in the Lord Judicials or whatever they're called, they're supposed to be kind of like younger chaplains in training or something like that, but I don't really feel Space Wolves would go along the same line, I'm not really sure. So yeah, you probably want to choose a younger face for this, maybe just add the top knot on or something like that, probably work out a bit better lore-wise, but I don't know, I felt like this one was quite fitting. And once again, with my weird obsession with everything being sturdy, I also put in a position where I can glue the top knot onto the cloak of the jackety thing as well, just so it's kind of double glued and it's not too weak. And here we go, here's the last thing I do is I add a chain onto the spear with a skull attached to the end of it, once again the whole cutting off heads people thing. And I just bend it a little bit because it was like a super straight piece, make sure it was kind of blowing in the direction I wanted. Glued it onto the spear and I think that really ties it together a lot better because I felt like the silhouette just didn't quite feel right. But yeah, that's it. Let's cut to a spinny showcase and I'll see you on the other end guys. And there we have him, in all his wolf speary glory. Now usually in these videos I'll ask you guys to kind of comment below what you think of this model and stuff like that. But in this one I really want you to let me know because I'm not really sure how I feel about this one. Usually like the, you know, they'll come out of ride, they're decent enough. But I'm not really sure about the whole mix between super like space wolfy elements with the kind of white scarry elements. Like I said, wolf spear had to look a little bit different to normal space wolves. But yeah, I'm not too sure. Obviously the spear didn't turn out the way I really wanted it. It was a very fiddly kit bash and stuff. It took a long time to do. Yeah, and overall, I'm just not 100% sure on how I feel about it. So definitely let me know below. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely hit the like button. And something I never really say either is, if you did enjoy it, maybe share it with some people. It definitely helps the channel out. And of course, subscribe as well if you haven't already. You know the whole drill by now. And as always, I do have a Patreon and a merch store as well, which helps me keep my bits box full and helps me cracking these videos out. But yeah, until the next one, guys, bye-bye.